Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to let you guys know this. This is my first VR game. I played a, a bit of uh, Rec Room. It's a VR game. Kind of like, uh, uh, what was that game? VR Chat. Kind of like that. So, I'm playing Fight at the Phrase Help Wanted. This is going to be my first time, so I don't know how the audio, the video, the link... Like the link up of between both. I don't know how that's going to work out. So bear in mind if I don't get it correctly on my first try. I'm new. With VR recording. So guys I hope you liked this video. And I'll see you guys. Bye. How's it going everybody? My name is Mr. Holic here, and welcome to Friday, <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. This is my first VR game. Fucking hell. Uh, I want to see if this thing is recording, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's begin. Or oh, let's... Wait. Okay. Let's begin. Again, this is my first time. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. Oh, this is cool. Huh, a meeting. Hmm, I don't trust that right now. That's for DLC. I don't have DLC. Wow. There's Five Nights at Freddy's 2, 3. Dark room, parts and service, vent repair, night terrors. Okay. Let's do. Wait. Replay title. What does this do? Let's oh, fuck. Let's do Five Nights at Freddy's one. I'm scared. Okay. Let's begin. I played a little bit of Five Nights at Freddy's. If you see my videos. Fucking god, it's worse than I thought. Oh, what's this? Hello? Hello, hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Come on. Come on. Fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your work. Okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property Ooh. or person. 
Okay, he's right there. He's out. Where's Chica? Shit, where's Chica? Bonnie's still at the door. Where's Chica? Oh, there she is. So I don't need the door. Bonnie's still there. Oh! <sighs> Yay. chips Beep. <laughs> what the fuck is that
Fucking pedophile rabbit? Suck at throwing. <sighs> Is it maybe because I'm too... Waving at me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Don't look at me like that, you pee. Word. Welcome oh, what the? to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? I think I was supposed to watch this first. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that some stories associated oh, with that. our name were loosely based on actual There's some games events, that haven't played. The majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious Fun scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years Plus into trash. a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally Plus. move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy oh. a few scares. Oh. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real world manifestations of digital Wait, characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. What? We hope you're enjoying the Fazbear Virtual Experience. Please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development. If you see any such artifacts, we recommend track. that you not interact with them. We'll weed them out eventually. There's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually. Did I get it? I think I did. Okay, let's go return to the room. 
I'm getting like this creepy ass vibe. I don't know what. Let's do something other than Final Fantasy Phrase 1. Um, there's two. There's three. Dark Room. Parts and Service. Vents. Uh, let's do... Let's do Finite. Let's do parts and service. If I remember correctly, this is what I did in Finite Freddy's sister location, where I have to take apart the. Yep. Okay. Welcome back to parts and Ooh. service. Oh no! It looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. You can grip this. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. <sighs> Easier said than done, asshole. Do not fucking scare me. Piece of shit. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Yeah! Is this a little... Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I'm such a dumb something. I missed that coin. I couldn't reach. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down because my room is kind of a mess right now. So bear with me. I get it. Bear with me because it's a fucking bear. <laughs> you get me. Let's do. Oh, fuck, Chica. Okay. Let's do Chica. Oh, if you hear any creaks, that's my chair. It's a swirly chair, so I can do this. Wee. Oh, God, this is my first VR horror, and I hate it. <laughs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh, my there have God. been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Hmm. Nope, we can't eat that. So I gotta... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't you fucking laugh at me.
we're hiring now <laughs> requires with restart. I messed up. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints oh. about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the chemi spray. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Did you just move? No, I saw you. I think I just saw you move. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. <gasps> you did move. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. You know what? I think you deserve it, buddy. Go on. Take it. Eat it. Okay. Eat it, delicious. See you next time. Bye. God, you're fucking terrifying. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Can you? Can you? Fucking closer now. Hey, buddy, do you know what this lever does? I, I get you. You want me to pull it? Is, is that what you're fucking telling me? What? what? <laughs> I, oh, <it's, laughs> wait, I wonder if the prize corner has like this. Okay, back to the thing. Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? Oh, well, what's this? Hmm? Hmm? Hello? Hello? Oh. <gasps> Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. 
This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're uh -huh. over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Okay. I'm gonna listen to the rest later. You're creepy. Let me do one more game and I'm gonna end the episode here. I am scared. Uh, back to reality. Oh my fucking god, he's still there. Oh god, Freddy, okay. Let's do parts and service because this one's more quicker. Oh, also, if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe. Welcome back oh to my Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a oh, personal yeah. item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Okay, let's see. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now <laughs> I dropped it by accident. <laughs> Restart. That cupcake, god damn. Even when I was playing just the original Final Fantasy. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, grab it. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. I literally scared the shit out. Fuck you. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests. Freddy's got a pretty good job. Now place the hat in the while we're at it. Let's make sure. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, Press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Slow and steady. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Please don't laugh at me, Freddy. I'm a gentle girl, okay? I'm delicate like a flower. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Hi, it hi, looks hi, like hi. one of our guests. Freddy's got a pretty good hold. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost. While we're at it, let's make. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. 
Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on... F now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. One more time. I think I got this. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's got a pretty good job. Now place the hat in while we're at well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Okay. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. I need a red one. A slow and even, a slow and even pace is recommended. A slow and- <laughs> I don't know if they're all good or one is good. That's the question. One more time, I think I got it. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost yeah. and found. Carefully, all grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pre good job. Now place the hat in the lost and while we're at it, let's make well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest time. cavity and- Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be f a slow and even pace is recommend a slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. One last game, one last game. 
Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear. <sighs> okay, one more game. <sighs> Foxy, my favorite of them all. Foxy is one of my favorites. Welcome oh, back my. to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh, my bad. Oh, there. So... Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Okay, so red, green, red, green. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Okay, I need a uh, blue, green, blue. Green, blue, blue, green, blue, blue. Oh. And then four. He said four. No. Blue, 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 blue green, blue. Okay, that was creepy and I love you, that's why. Oh my god. <sighs> I had it. You guys saw, right? I had it. Thank you. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Yeah, blue, red, Carefully, blue. remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. It's okay. And then four. This one was, what was it? Red, green, red. This was the mistake I made. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye around. from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Oh. There it is. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Yeah. Pirate Cove can now be reopened.
<laughs> Fast bar. Mm. Quite delicious. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable. Price counter. Why do I have a bad feeling? Okay, return. Getting like this weird off feeling. I don't know why. Hmm. One more. One more. One more. I want to do this one. Flashlight. Teleport. Close door. Survive till six. Oof. Wait, this is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Hmm. Back to menu. You know, I'll, I'll give you credit there. I'll give that a no. You know what? I think this is where I'm going to end the episode here. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe. Tell your friends about this. I hope you guys enjoy my first VR video. It's probably gonna take a while before I re uh, upload this because I don't think I have the way to record, to transfer to my laptop because I think this is a Facebook, uh, it's the Oculus Quest 2. So I have to get like a cord to put into, to transfer into my laptop, you know, edit it, put my opening and closing and then upload it. That's probably gonna take me a while, but I'm really excited to play this, uh, play more of this. I'm terrified right now, and that's why I love it. I hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe, tell your friends about this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Mr. Holic signing off. Peace.